Welcome back to part two of our How to Use Rule Machine series. Now that you have the basics down, it's time to have some fun. And in Rule Machine, fun means conditional rules. Conditional rules are really where you start to see the power of Rule Machine. This is the type of automation where actions only occur under certain conditions. So let's look at the rule we created in the last video and see how we can incorporate this. So here's the rule. The trigger event is motion detected on our living room sensor. And the actions to run when the rule is triggered is to turn on the living room light, wait for motion to stop, then turn off the light. In layman's turns, when motion is detected, the light will go on. When motion stops, the light goes off. Pretty basic stuff. As written, the one light will turn on every time the rule is triggered. But let's say the room has two lights. And it's fine for the first light to turn on any time there's motion, but the room does get some sunlight during the day, so you only want that second light to turn on if it is dark outside. That if is the key. If brings conditions into play. And to make this work in Rule Machine, we need to introduce a conditional action. In this case, the conditional action will be if the time is between sunset and sunrise, then turn on the living room light too. So how does this fit in our overall rule? When a rule reaches an if statement, it will evaluate the condition or conditions we define. In this case, is it between sunset and sunrise? And if it is, meaning that statement is true, it will then execute the action we tell it to. If it evaluates the conditions and they don't match our if statement, that statement is false and the rule will not execute the then action. Before we go add this to our rule, we first need to understand the difference between conditions and events. We discussed events in our last video. An event is something that happens that sends a message to the hub. It can be device driven, such as motion sensor sensing motion. It can be time driven, such as sunrise or when the clock strikes a specific time. The hub can create its own events, such as when a mode changes and the hub can receive events from the connected network. But all of these events occur in a moment of time, in an instant. Conditions, on the other hand, are not a moment in time. Devices always have a condition. Conditions are simply the current state of a device, or the current time, or the current state of whatever it is you're trying to evaluate. Events and conditions do go hand in hand. For example, with the motion sensor, detecting motion is the event. And when motion is detected, the condition of the motion sensor becomes active. The condition of the motion sensor will remain active until the next event, which is when the motion sensor stops sensing motion. At that event, the condition of the sensor becomes and remains inactive until the next event, and so on and so forth. For the TLDR crowd, an event is when a device tells the hub something happened. A condition is when the hub checks what state a device is in. Triggers are always based on events. Conditional rules are always based on conditions. So let's open up our rule and show you how to add this conditional action to turn on the second living room light if it is between sunset and sunrise. Also, to demonstrate the difference between events and conditions, we're going to add a second motion sensor to our trigger event. When finished, our completed rule will look like this. So let's start by selecting trigger events. We'll edit our trigger events and add our second motion sensor here. Now, when we have multiple motion sensors, it gives us a new option to select if we want the rule to trigger when either motion sensor is active or only when all of the motion sensors are active. We want either sensor to trigger this rule, so leave this unchecked and hit done with trigger event. There's nothing more to add, so click done here. Now we're going to go into our actions to run. We're going to use the tools we discussed in our last video to make our edits. First, we want to add our new conditional action right after the on living room one action. So hit this plus sign on the wait for event line to add an action above that line. For our action type, we will select conditional actions. Now when we select conditional actions, we see two types of conditional actions. If expression then actions are used when you want to have multiple different conditions with different actions for each condition. For example, we could build this rule to say if it is Wednesday, turn on one light. If it is Thursday, turn on both lights and any other day, make the lights flash. Don't know why you'd want to do that, but you could. Now we'll demonstrate full conditional rules in our next video, but today we are focusing on simple conditional rules. A simple conditional rule has one condition that will trigger one action if true. So we'll select simple conditional action. When it asks for the capability for the action condition, this is the if expression. So we want to evaluate if the time is between sunset and sunrise. So select between two times. Instead of a specific time, we'll select sunset. Now it actually gets dark in the living room before sunset, so we'll offset this by negative 25 minutes. We'll have this end at sunrise, and again, it is dark for a bit after sunrise, so we'll offset that by plus 25 minutes, and we'll hit done with this condition. Now we need to select the action type for this conditional. So if the condition we just added is evaluated as true, what is the action we want the rule to take? For us, it is to control switches. 
turn switches on. We'll select living room two. Now make sure that is on, then hit done with action. So our conditional action has been added. The conditional expression we selected is inside this parentheses. Now it's currently about two o'clock in the afternoon, so this expression is false. If the condition is true, this will say true right here. Remember, actions run top to bottom. So when the rule is triggered, it will run the first action to turn on the light one, then move to the next line. If this is true, it will run this action to turn on living room light two. If this is false, which it is now, it will skip this action and move on to the next line. Currently, that action is to wait for an event. But now that we have two motion sensors in our rule, we need to change that. Because instead of waiting for the event of one motion sensor to report inactive, we now want to wait for a condition of both motion sensors being in an inactive state for eight minutes. So we are going to hit the plus sign to add a new action. Select delay wait as our type. And now instead of wait for events, we're going to select wait for expression. Expressions are used to define conditions in a rule. Our expression element is a new condition. The capability is motion. And we will select our two motion sensors. Now, unlike when we picked our trigger, we only want the lights to turn off when both of these are inactive. So toggle this here and select inactive here. We want motion to be inactive for eight minutes. So select use duration, select hours, minutes, and enter eight minutes. And we are done with this wait condition. Expressions can have multiple conditions, which you could add here, but we are done for now. Back in our table, we can delete this old wait for event action right here. So now once both motion sensors are in a state of inactive for eight minutes, our last action will take place. Because we've added a second light to this rule that may be on, we need to edit this action to turn that off too. So click on that action. Click on switches to turn off, then select living room number two. That's the only change we have here, so we'll be done with this action. Now all of our actions are complete, so we can be done with the actions. And now our first conditional rule is complete. Be sure to hit update rule or done before navigating away to save and activate your rule. So that's a taste of conditional rules and how you can use a simple conditional rule to make your life just a little better. In our next video, we're moving on to the main course and building a full conditional rule with multiple different conditions with different actions for each condition. So pack a lunch because we're going deep. Thanks for watching and thanks for elevating your environment with Hubitat Elevation.